Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at equation of a parallel line. So let's get started. All right, so basically I've got this red line. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to create a line that is parallel to the red line and it's going to go through point 33. So basically I'm looking for an equation of a line that's going to go through this. All right, so the first thing what I've got to do is I've actually got to work out the gradient of the red line. So to find the gradient of the red line, I have change in y divided by change in x. So I have 5 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 0, and I've got 4 over 2, which equals to 2. So remember that for parallel lines, they have to have the same slope, because if they have the same slope, then they'll never actually meet. So parallel lines will have the same gradient. So in this case, the gradient of the red line is 2, which means the gradient of the green line is also going to equal 2. But I need to work out what the equation of the green line is. So to do that, I have uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So and I'm going to use the point 3, 3. So y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 3. And rearranging this, sorry, expanding first, I have 2x minus 6. And then rearranging it, I have 2x minus 6 plus 3. So the equation then is equal to 2x plus 3. All right, now you could have done it the other way as well, where you have the gradient equals to 2. And using the point 3, 3. So I've got the point 3, 3 there. So y equals to mx plus c. Uh, y is 3. X is, m is 2 times 3 plus c. So 3 equals 6 plus c. Therefore, c equals minus 3, which means your equation is going to be y equals Oh, have I done something wrong? Yes, I have. I've realized where I made my mistake. My mistake is here. That should be minus 3. So I'm going to rewrite that. So I should have actually got y equals 2x minus 3 because negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Cool. So that's one way of doing this. And I'll show you guys another example. Okay, so in this second example, I'm looking for a parallel line of the blue line, or parallel to the blue line, going through the point 4, 6. So first off, I've got to work out the gradient of the blue line, which is the same step, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, which is going to give me the gradient. So I have 1 minus 2 divided by 9 minus 5. So my gradient is going to be negative quarter. So now to find the so the parallel line, which is the green one there, is also going to have a gradient of negative 4. And to find out what the equation of the green line is, I'm going to use the point 4, 6. So then I'm going to have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus 6 equals negative quarter multiplied by x minus 4. So expanding this, I should have negative x over 4 plus 1. And rearranging this, I'm going to have y equals negative x over 4 plus 7. OK, guys, and that's the, I mean, you can do it the other way as well. So even if you were to do it with the y equals mx plus c way, you should get c value of 7. So let's check it out. So we got 4 and 6 as the point. So we got 6. Gradient is a negative quarter multiplied by 4 plus c. So we've got 6 equals negative 1 plus c. Rearranging this, we're going to get 7 equals c. Therefore, the equation is negative quarter x plus 7. All right. And remember, you know, you can actually write it this way here or this way here. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's the same answer. Cool. That's it for this session, folks. Thank you for watching.